<laughs> you look really hipster now. Oh yes, <laughs> like a like a robber from a 1930s movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Number One Crude Mistakes with myself, Glenn, from Number One Projects, KJ from Crude But Efficient, and Havard from Behind the Mistakes. How are you doing, guys? Woohoo! New year, new us, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> or is it just uh, the same, same, as always? <laughs> this new year take two. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, for the love of everything let's hope we don't have a new 2023 i think uh i think we're ready to move on <laughs> well, it, it, isn't that what we said the last couple of years oh 2020 wasn't that fun oh 2021 wasn't that fun 2022 wasn't that fun yeah on reading the the news oh, small snippets you get of it it's it's not looking bright That's a yeah. positive Hope start. Hope for the best and plan for the worst. <laughs> At least we're starting out on this note as opposed to finishing on it for a change. That's a pretty good game for us, isn't it? <laughs> well, that's the best positive angle I've heard someone take in a long time. <laughs> well, if you're standing on the bottom, there's only up. Unless it's a false bottom and you can sink in it. Yeah. <laughs> so last week we had uh, James from Fix It Fingers. That was the Nice recording, wasn't it? Nice, easy edit for you, KJ. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, no, no, no problems in the edit, editing suite. It was just, um, yeah, it was uh, some pauses, perhaps <laughs> a few <laughs> pa- pauses <laughs> to take out. That was it. That was it. No, yeah. it was re- it was really nice, and I mean, it's I, I, I'm I'm still marveled by the wonders of technology that you can have a, a have a conversation with someone on the other side of the world and it works this smoothly i mean gr- growing up seeing uh, and i mean still seeing uh, live tv when they're talking to a reporter in the field and i have like a minute of delay or something like that and you wonder yeah that's that's weird. Here we're sitting using free software and talking without lag and decent video, and then the professional movie studios are standing there in the field and like, <laughs> like staring into the camera for seconds, waiting for a response. That's a shouldn't they have fixed that by now? <laughs> yeah. And, and why do it? Do they have to do it live? Live? Can't they just record it like two minutes before, like they do on uh, on the radio? Just record the the live segments while you're playing a song or something and then no you mean that no. it's live <laughs> well when it is the a live event like the cattle driver competition of the year or something like that you <laughs> you can't uh, be a few seconds behind and do some on the spot editing that's uh there's no time for that if you want to be first you want to be first <laughs> but you wouldn't want to be doing you wouldn't want to be the editor would you controlling a that sort of stream, you know, where it's just two seconds, you've got two seconds to react. I wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> it's just no point for that lag at all for me. I would like to have a go at that software. That would be cool because they do it in some programs where they are trying to filter out profanities and so on. Uh, I know there has been some, I think BBC has been quite good at it at some times. They have had some artists on uh, which has uh, broken the rules with regards to profanity so that the next time they're on, they're actually having that uh, two minutes delay so they can actually edit out something on the go. So it it would be nice to see how they actually do it. Yeah. I think they're just employing someone with super speedy skills. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So did you take anything away from... The recording last week did you uh, take any of james's advice and your sponsorship deals turned all those lasers <laughs> down yeah I'm, I'm still waiting for that endless dream of uh forwarded emails from him uh, <laughs> yeah and me give too. away lasers <laughs> i haven't checked my uh, spam filter perhaps yeah yeah no oh, oh that's oh, good that oh yeah, I need to it, check yeah. The spam filter yeah <laughs> i mean give away emails all the way from australia 
I, I would send that to the spam folder. <laughs> no questions asked. <laughs> it's a bit suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> so I took uh, definitely took one piece of advice and did uh, my own super cut. But being such a a young YouTuber, as in young at YouTube, not being young myself, uh, my super cut ended up being twenty minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, you, you did a lot of work on it. You didn't just uh, stitch a couple of videos together. You actually recut it. And yeah. I mean, what's it called? You do with a deck of cards. You mix it up. Shuffle it. Shuffle it. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. You shuffle no, it. I, I was really confused at the time. So, wait, wasn't, wasn't, isn't this the other strum? Are we, have I skipped a bit or something? No, no, we're back at the wooden one. No, no it's the plastic <laughs> metal one. What? what? Oh yeah, then I mean it took a couple of minutes before <laughs> before I understood what you've do, that, done there. So, well, I yeah. um, I cut it together like that to start out with, and then um, showed um, showed the critic of the house. Also goes under the moniker of tech support. <laughs> um, <laughs> and she looked at it and she said, "I just don't like it. <laughs> I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You need to do an introduction." So I did an introduction, and I I'd hoped that that would have. Uh, explain things i mean I explain what the end result was but not the journey there but it was oh, nice to uh, to uh, yeah. to uh, to figure some some things out for yourself yeah yeah so it's quite nice the whole soundtrack for it was the instruments as well which yeah. for the cmos is one of my it's the electric drumstick which plays our theme tune as well yeah that was the weirdest thing to actually hear our theme, yeah. theme theme in your video because i mean it was that was the first one so yeah, well, i mean i it's... was half i was halfway into reporting the video when i realized oh okay now i understand yeah <laughs> i often have it when uh, we're uh, when i'm listening to the podcast because we we obviously listen to it before it goes out and um kj or you will say uh, so what do you think and i'm looking around thinking what what was the question <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's really nice i mean that guy is really good at playing so i mean that's that in itself is uh, is reason enough to watch the video uh, yeah not just your your workmanship but his workmanship yeah uh, no so. my, my my friend steve's very talented he um, all that music's original as well he just created mm. that off the top of his head or from somewhere in the depths of his crazy brain <laughs> that would be nice to have uh, a bit of that brain. Yeah, yeah, I would like that. I think we've all got that bit of brain, to be honest with you. It just it just comes out in different ways. Yeah, not not that the the, the create music uh, brain weirdness. I would like some of that because I've tried and <laughs> and failed miserably. I, I'm, no. I'm I, I mean I can I can squeeze out some lyrics, but not actually write music. So that I'm, that would be nice. Yeah, I'm thinking later on this year. I'm gonna build a build an instrument and then teach myself a song off um, from watching YouTube and do that as a video, which should be interesting. Is that a so. new is that is that a New Year's resolution from your part? I just <laughs> or just, just a hope. Some, no, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> nice. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, call it a re re resolution or whatever. I'm gonna give that a go. I think that'd be an interesting idea for a video. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about music, I mean, oh, well, you you went a more mechanical route uh, in a video way back before Christmas. Yeah, I um, I built a motorized music box, uh, which already has been like the stepping stone for me adding because I'm I'm, I'm going to build an instrument for 2024 as well, uh, and of course that's. If that's a smart thing to do, uh, given the fact that I still haven't finished the hell quarter, which I'm like <laughs> running up to try and do, um, then uh, yeah, I thought maybe uh, more music instruments. That's the way to go. So, um, but the music box, which was my Christmas project, um, turned out really nice. But I don't recommend having. Christmas project on YouTube because <laughs> of course you want it to be released while it's still relevant so you have a deadline which is the mother of all deadlines all year for anything leading up to Christmas so trying to shoehorn a YouTube video and editing 
into that uh, time schedule it's it's not uh, advisable <laughs> but uh, it turned you don't out say. great <laughs> um of course i'm thinking about uh, removing the three music uh, boxes and then getting someone with a bit more proper tune they do the look are good, uh, the mechanics are good, uh, and I might have saved too much money on the music boxes themselves <laughs> because the melodies and the tuning uh, on all three of them are shit. Uh, so yeah, okay. I, I could I could spend a couple of more dollars each on them and get uh, a better melody. It wasn't and so course, much a mu- music box, it was a music out the box, wasn't it? Everything yeah. musical was positioned on top of the box. Because <laughs> I'm still on the fence. What do you really call them? I mean, it's we call them music boxes, and they do come in an, an enclosure originally. But, I mean, it is a revolving drum thingamabob. <laughs> I, I haven't seen any good name for it, but it should be a much better name than a music box because it's more referenced... Uh, the enclosure around it than the thing itself. It's weird. Yeah. Or maybe we it's get... just a language barrier. <laughs> so were you happy with the the feedback and stuff you got from that video? Yeah. Feedback has been really great. Uh, and <laughs> I don't know if I want to admit this, but I'm, I'm kind of falling in love with working with Teak because it's so pleasant to work <laughs> with. It's just... It's hard wood, but it's not too hard. So, I mean, it's forgiving on your tools, but it's, yeah, turns brilliantly uh, both on the drill press and yeah. on the CNC. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I've got, so. I've, I've, I myself have a, a teak project ongoing in the workshop as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still have some leftovers, so there will be some more teak in the horizon for sure. <laughs> Do we get any insights into um, the new instrument that you're planning on making? Oh, yeah. Um, It's kind of fun when the algorithms serving you ads start spinning off probably what you're posting on YouTube because I now get adverts for a lot of companies selling musical instruments for school classes. So I don't know... uh, buying uh, recorders in bulk and now a lot of uh, <laughs> music boxes in bulk. They are thinking, uh, ooh, here's a teacher buying supplies for his class, so maybe he's interested in this. And I got this small classroom-sized, uh, like the, the xylophones, uh, but the metal ones. And I- I've seen a lot of projects around those, so it's not going to be groundbreaking in any means, but of course I have all the equipment uh, up until that point that I can connect it to a guitar. So I just need uh, to buy more of the hammers and I need some uh, servos and so on. And I got inspired by the music box. It's going to be an open system, very easy, where you can see all the mechanics, but uh, it would be really nice to uh, make something easy there. Um, but of course, before I start, I, I'm probably going to add features to it. So it's going to end up being a larger project. So I'm hoping I'm able to push it after this summer because I'm going to do a stint and try to get the the helicopter ready so of course I can stitch all those videos together to a super cut which will be five or six hours <laughs> so <laughs> not looking forward to doing the voiceover on that because you have to pay attention and try to make a voiceover that fills in uh, between those videos where we're actually talking so it's going to be interesting yeah, you could do a super, super cut part one and two couldn't you, you don't have to do it no one's yeah. going to watch five or six hours, surely. No, but then I also, uh, a couple of years ago, they launched a series on YouTube, I think, called Drunken History, where, where they get famous people to read out uh, scripts uh, from various historical events, completely drunk off their asses. <laughs> so I was uh, thinking maybe I should do one for the Patreons where I do a, a drunk commentary, <laughs> just to soup myself up and then press record and then... Whatever happens, that goes live. <laughs> I might actually become a patron if you promise to do that. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think you should do if you have like a, a six hour long video, just do uh, a day in Hogwarts life. You start press play in the morning when you're making breakfast and you do a voiceover when you're feeding your kids and then you're taking a walk and still doing <laughs> that voiceover and watching the screen and then you're cooking lunch and <laughs> so you get get the, the a, full experience. I'm a bit unsure how I would set up that technically, but very interesting point. <laughs> of, uh, just have it running there. on your phone and just recording it uh, at the same time and just There'll be some pauses, and then be some flushes. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> maybe that's the excuse I need to actually get a hold of uh, one of these uh, voice recorders. I've always thought about having one of those laying around in my cars because when I'm out driving, I usually get an idea and then I have to find a place to stop to write something down on the phone so I don't forget it. So I always thought if I had like a voice recorder just laying in my car, I could just press on the big red button and say whatever I needed to say. So, KJ, let's talk about your Christmas project. Yeah, yeah, th- uh, that of having a, a project before Christmas uh, that you've been postponing for half a year. I mean, I had the materials. I bought them in May, I think. Then I realized, <laughs> hmm, Christmas is coming. Winter is here. So now I'm standing here grinding and welding in, in minus degrees. Uh, I had to shovel snow to... Actually, do it. That that wasn't the fun part, but it 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 turned out really nice. It, uh, all things considered, yeah, yeah. it worked. So, as... Is it still holding water, or have you yeah. tossed out Christmas for this year or last no, year? No, no, or... it's uh, the tree is still standing, and the tree is uh, is uh, well and fine. So uh, the paint wasn't uh, poisonous, <laughs> which was something I was a bit scared of that it might. I had to. Re- let I, I let mean, me I let you know the secret. <laughs> the tree is already dead. <laughs> no, no, the tree is dying slowly. Uh, we usually, I mean, we we cut it so fresh from the from the forest. It actually starts uh, budding right before we throw it out normally. So it's it's well and happy, and have forgotten that we cut up its feet. Yeah. Thank Sorry. you for giving us that image. It's not only a dead tree, but you are actually bringing something live and you're depriving it of life uh, essence uh, and you're just uh, keeping it around in your living room watching it dying screaming for help that's yeah uh, i mean we're we're, we're i mean it's, yay, basically, it's sleeping and we're waking it up and then we're throwing it out <laughs> that's more or less christmas for us at the moment it's kind of a zombie christmas tree isn't it it, it doesn't really know that it's dead yet uh, yeah it thinks it's, it's... still alive yeah dead dead <laughs> Dead tree standing. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm. I'm just. I'm gonna have to do uh, some. Uh, add some fixtures for next year to uh, make the grip from the screws a little bit better. But otherwise, it worked perfectly. Oh. I mean, the, <laughs> I thought you needed to bolt it to the floor. <laughs> no. No. I mean, that's not gonna fall over. It. The <laughs> the stand weighs like twice as much as the tree does. So it's no. No problem in that area. <laughs> so it was, it was the easiest easiest racing of a tree uh, we've had. And I, I, I was really, I was pleased with the video as well. Uh, too bad that it feels like no one else is. <laughs> <laughs> that's, only because, that's only because they've not watched it. I think everybody that's watched it, KJ, including myself, are very pleased with it. I think it came out uh, very well. Might you be, know, might I, think, be. I think it was your wife's bum that really made it for me. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was actually really nice to meet the family in the in that video. That, that, that was a nice touch and a brave one as well. So I don't think it's something I do, but it, it was nice to see. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's fine. I'm sure it's yeah. fine. It'll be fine. I say I'm not brave enough to do it. My first ever video, my family were in it. <laughs> I forgot all about that. <laughs> Oops, my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, how was your uh, Christmas, Glenn? Did you did you have any Christmas project you got to wrap up before uh, before uh, Christmas? I just did some tinkering and did a couple of shorts over Christmas. I was just farting around, basically. Um, what did I do? I lasered some masking tape. That was fun. <laughs> Yeah, that, that actually gave me some ideas. So that's that was really yeah, brilliant. That was an that epiphany. Was, yeah, that was really good. Um, well, I did do something else as well, but I can't for the life of remember what that was. 
can't have been that good. <laughs> but no, it was, that, a, it was that, a lot. Carry that's on. the space where you want to be at Christmas, I think. Uh, just uh, farting around and uh, really can't yeah. uh, recollect anything. I mean, then it's a <laughs> yeah. bit low enough pressure on the entire <laughs> thing. The mind, I can only really take that for a day. <laughs> it might be they're not really remembering anything. might be the reason I'm not drinking in January. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that might be it, yeah. <laughs> That and uh, last year I didn't drink in January and came out with my best ever video so far. So here goes. <laughs> <Come on in. laughs> Let's get that monetization going. <laughs> Spe- speaking of, of drinking, we talked uh, on a previous episode about the fact that that Sweden and Norway also celebrates the eve and not the day uh, of Christmas. Yeah. And I, I talked with my wife and realized that we only celebrate eves. We have Midsummer Eve, New Year's Eve, in Easter it's the Eve as well. And I think that's because we have a really bad relationship with alcohol. Because if you have a day off, then you start partying the day before and sleep <laughs> sleep in in the day. And I think that's basically it. That's the Nordic way of, oh, we have a free day. Then we start partying at three o'clock the day before. Yeah, and for eight months of the year as well, it's it's dark after noon, so you have just a small window of daylight which you need to use to, for something productive. So any celebratory and non-work related or non-survival rated, it it needs to happen in the evenings. Yeah. So when the sun goes down, the drinking starts. <laughs> <laughs> you, sorry, you celebrate midsummer. Yeah. Yeah. The solstice. The solstice. Yeah, the longest yeah. day. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. When we, I mean, uh, we celebrate in... Mother Earth with a big phallus. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Pretending to be frogs. <laughs> and I'm not making this up. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yes, so that's real. Sure. <laughs> uh, we, we celebrate um, Midsummer, the, the longest day, purely because it's Michelle's birthday. But other than that, we can... It's not a general thing in this country. She should she should come to Sweden and pretend that everyone's celebrating her. Yeah. Oh, she'd love uh... that. She would love that. <laughs> we we do celebrate it in Norway, but uh, of course Sweden uh, took the concept and ran with it, so uh, we we can't yeah, even right compare. Into the wall and through the wall. <laughs> yeah. And we made still it, keep made it running. Proper weird. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But that's that's really nice. We'll live for almost two years in Sweden, and that's one of the things that uh, we really would like to catch on in Norway as well. Do you celebrate winter solstice as well? Uh, yeah, well, we did um, before the, the christening. Uh, that's the what we call it, Yule, instead of Christmas. Because okay. Christ Mass. No, no, this has nothing to do with Christ. This is Yule. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the the winter solstice. Uh, okay. Um, so we we just shifted it a couple of days because that's the twenty first, I think, generally. So that's if Christmas is got mashed together. Yeah. Fair enough. I, I think we don't have a official celebrity of it, but uh, I remember my father was like religiously. Uh, into that date. Oh, now the days and nights are equally long, and now we're going towards more <laughs> brighter times and whatnot. And of course, now it's basically just for me. It's like, all right, this is the the, the high point of the winter depression. It can only get better from here. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> of course, uh, having a small workshop where you do a lot of things in summer, where you can open up the garage door and actually roll a few equipments outside. It's just. Uh, this is the <laughs> season of the project. <laughs> so uh, that should be a celebratory thing in the maker community. <laughs> I yeah. think we know a lot of a lot of people in the in the small workshop community who could get back behind a celebratory thing like that. I was going to say that in the years before the pandemic we used to have a a winter solstice uh, viking party more or less eating old timey food and sacrificing a marzipan pig to bring the sun back and 
<laughs> that, that, crazy that, that bastards. Was, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was proper fun. And it was really great because then you had to clean the house a couple of days before Christmas. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> So frogs, marzipan, oh, pigs. Oh. Should we do that this year? And then I have an excuse for building that miniature guillotine because if you're sacrificing a marzipan pig, it, what better way it's to chop its head off with a guillotine? Do it. <laughs> That's okay. Now we now we have a a format for the for the guillotine uh, build off. <laughs> nice. I like it. We pick that up in the autumn. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Well, seeing as though yeah. you said the word build off, KJ, I think you just gave yourself a segue there. Do you want to go with that? Oh, you can, uh, as you said it, you can take it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You figured out the dates, you can do it. <laughs> fine, fine. Uh, I do the, um, the administration. Um, yeah, we're finally, uh, officially launching the, the Knife Along uh, build quest for this year. Um, so if my calendar skills are correct, this uh, podcast episode comes out on the 13th of January. Um, so the the build starts tomorrow and it goes on for four weeks. Uh, so the, the, the finish deadline is the 11th of February, February. For anyone who wants to tag along or anyone who wants to keep track on what we're doing. Um, I can say that I have started in, in uh, such as I've I've dug out the old rusty saw blade that I'm planning to use as the <laughs> material for my for my knife to see actually go. what what I have to work with. Far I haven't decided what I'm going to make, what kind of knife it's going to be. Um, so yeah. it's fair to say we all cheated. We already kind of started in some sense. I haven't. <laughs> what, what have you done? Avard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <Busted. laughs> Come on. That, that's just Come on, cut, fess cut up. <laughs> Come on, what you done? Oh, I'm, I'm already in the edit. So it's like, <laughs> how can I chop this into four pieces so it makes sense? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, I have uh, I have dug out the materials and started like uh, organizing the the way I want to attack it uh, in my head. So, uh... <laughs> do you have oh. a clear, clear picture of what you want to do? Is it still that idea you had on a meeting a couple of weeks back? It's a derivative of that, mm. uh, without uh, letting too much ideas uh, out in the open too early. No, oh, I've not even. I, to be honest with you, I'd forgotten about it until KJ messaged about it today. <laughs> I mean, it was you who started. You wanted to make a knife, and you had something. M- months ago, I'm over it now. Yeah. <laughs> you don't really feel it anymore. No. Nah. <laughs> nah. That was when I was going through my cutlery phase, if you remember. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why we talked about it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I've just been jazzing along all the way, and yeah, 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 we'll do it in January, and now when you're reading <laughs> up the dates and the deadline, holy shit, that's <laughs> that's tomorrow, basically. <laughs> so it's like, we should cut this recording short, because I need to hit the workshop running. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can add a couple of weeks to the deadline if you want to. <laughs> no, I'm not no, sure I if I can get fine. all the parts from China in that time. <laughs> <laughs> You need to stop ordering all your shit from China. <laughs> Just do like the garage avenger and go look in your nearest uh, dump or container. <laughs> oh, that's... I had a... We need to derail a bit. I had a heart-wrenching experience at work today. Um, I'm, I'm stuck this week doing uh, uh, leading so, some workshops so I can't really leave. And then in one of the recesses I was just standing looking outside the window and they're actually redoing some of the offices and the meeting rooms in the floor below us so they had like four or five containers just stacked back to back on the outside and it was throwing out every bit of interior and of course from the meeting rooms they had like meters of meters of these acoustic panels which are basically handmade (laughs) by some carpenter company or something and I was like 
if that container is going to stay there until tomorrow, I'm going home and I'm ditching the podcast. I'm hooking up my trailer because I'm going scavenging. But in the next next recess, I came out and then, of course, uh, a trailer had come and just picked them up. So they're probably already crushed at the dump before I even got home from work. So that's like, and I posted a few videos on Instagram and people were like commenting. Oh, but if you don't have room, you can sell that easily for a lot of money. And I like, ooh, that's a nice idea. And then when, of course, I came out, it's got already gone. So that's a bit heart wrenching. But uh, yeah, I still uh, think I have enough materials laying around in the garage to uh, to actually pull off this uh, knife along. <laughs> it's so sad when they throw stuff away that that could be useful. Yeah. Just think of the knife you could have made with that uh, all that acoustic board. <laughs> oh, that would be uh, the most silent assassin knife you could ever think of. <laughs> it's worth uh, mentioning at this point that if anybody does want to join in the knife along, there are no prizes, there are no rewards. It's just yeah, a, and a fun, fun no thing rules. to join in on. Mm. And no rules. No, yeah. It's make a knife. Yeah, make a but, knife. It must, <laughs> but it must be finished by the 11th of February. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we should uh, uh, do like a hashtag, uh, like NCM knife off. I don't know NCM knife along. I mean, it's not a knife off; it's a knife along because we're all friends and nice here. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's make it. Well. Uh, let's make it short and sweet. We can just check it out if it's uh, if it's enough. Just putting knife along. I can't really think there is a lot of things on that hashtag. There. No, but I, I think we should start a trend here for the next time we need a, a hashtag. A little prefix for everything we do. Okay. Yeah, I don't really mind. Yeah. Well, <laughs> um, I'll do. I, I really don't care either. So yeah, let's <laughs> let's go with that. Then. <laughs> Woohoo, I'm the most stubborn one. I win again. <laughs> Did you notice that I've learned to say mind instead of care? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's a psychology. That's a, that's a native English speaker right there using the fancy <laughs> words. <laughs> right then, KJ, you were saved last week. I'm just going to go back to talking about your video. James from Fix It Finger saved you last week. Let's talk about shorts, KJ. <laughs> what have you got to say yeah, for yourself that, that came out well uh, as uh, I mean James said that he was bullied into uh, doing uh, super cuts uh, from, by his friends and I felt a bit bullied by you to actually uh, pull out a couple of pieces and make shorts uh, from that Christmas okay. tree stand well if, if I'm being blamed so you, what yeah, were the you results can take, of- you can take what were the results of it? <laughs> like two and a half thousand views or something like that. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, you you feel free to take credit uh, for yeah. that. And how many subscribers? A handful or something like that, I think. Yeah. yeah. Five, six, seven-ish. Ten. Ten. Okay. Yeah. yeah I mean, I think, I think I've <laughs> lost a couple of them. So, yeah. Now you're back up again. I checked today. <laughs> <laughs> it's you good both... to have a have a, a a media manager like on this. <laughs> well, I took the um, I've changed the sign. I don't know whether you can see it. The uh, yeah. sign I keep over my uh, left I shoulder. I see. I see it saying past, but I'm I'm guessing if we could see more, it would say uh, pasty. But I'm not yeah. sure. So I'm just guessing and, here. And I very artistically drew a picture of a pasty underneath it as well. Oh, I don't see that. Oh, look that. Oh, that's a taco. Yeah. No, that's a pasty. That's a, Nor- no, that's a Norwegian a... taco shell. That's a... <laughs> Norwegian I, I, taco. I think, that, I think that depends on which way you're looking at it. Is it a hare or is it a duck? Is it a taco or is it a pasty? Um, or, a cl- or a clam. A Could be a clam. Could it be a yeah. bow as well? Or a, a yeah. hunting bow. Or a, yeah. or a moon. Yeah, you're, you're, Oh, you it's put the Ill- a picture of it. No, it's the Illuminati. Can yeah. you see it? It's the, it's one of the clues yeah. from the. I, I feel the that next finger book is... of that guy. Yeah. Can you <laughs> see what the hand's doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
that's uh that's fitting <laughs> yeah <laughs> i actually so, had a uh, a surprise run to ikea but I, I did not find a section with the hand so i can verify the thing we talked talked about in the previous episode well we never said what that was actually no we no, still have it. We didn't give no. any, any uh, images to to help along as well. Should we uh, reveal been... that in the reveal reveal that in the half pint? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. feel free to. <laughs> or maybe that just should be one of life's great mysteries. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. If if yeah, you're wondering, there, listener, just bug Glenn, and maybe he will tell you. Yeah. <laughs> so not only did you do uh, two successful shorts, which well done by the way, they were successful and they were nice shorts. Yeah. You also did your first live stream, to my knowledge, on uh, Instagram. Yeah, I, I I did one when I celebrated a hundred uh, uh, followers on uh, on Instagram, but that was a while ago. So I was yeah. a bit shaky, and it was. Uh, I mean, I was more shaky about the live stream than the actual thing, which was uh, scratching that uh, uh, lottery ticket. Uh, <laughs> I'm so glad it didn't win. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, I, I I really didn't care. Actually, it was. It's really fun when the audience is more invested than you are in something. <laughs> but it, it turned felt... out all well. <laughs> I would have felt so bad if that had been a winner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, you win some, you lose some. It just got me thinking uh, on the live topic, and uh, when we talked about the supercuts, uh, um, what's the longest podcast? There must be a record out there. Uh, it's probably yeah. longer than I would like to care for. But I mean, uh, Glenn talked about a, a day in your life voiceover, but we could also do a day in the life of a podcast. If you just need. Uh, a huge battery pack for your phone and you just uh, <laughs> make a WhatsApp call, press record and <laughs> like a uh, <laughs> complete day. <laughs> of course, without video, <laughs> it's like because someone's going to forget the microphone going to the pisser. <laughs> we I just wonder what's the longest you can re- re- upload. What does YouTube have uh, maximum upload at the moment? Does anyone know? Yeah, that's a fair question. No idea. Back in the day, it was 10 minutes, but that's a long time ago. And I don't know now. How much footage of po- podcast have we got to uh, do a super cut podcast? Just put all the episodes back to back. <laughs> all right. It's, it's fairly easy. Uh, 16 and a few half bites, and then multiply it by roughly one hour and 50 minutes. So shouldn't be too much. Oh no, come on, you said it was easy. Come on, spit it out. (laughs) (laughs) 27 and a half hours. Yeah. (laughs) At at least we have enough for a complete uh, day, 24 hours. So we could do a 24 hour super cut. Yeah. Or people can just listen to every episode as they like. Yeah, that's just as easy. I mean, it's and it's hard doing a voiceover to add something new to a podcast because the, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not enough silence. Well, if you're doing the rough cuts before we have cut them down, there are some blank spots then, you can fill in with a, a voiceover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I I really felt that on the last episodes. Every time you have someone. In addition to you, Glenn, who who's, who are really proficient at speaking English, I feel like a mumbling uh, caveman struggling to find the words to keep up with the conversations. Of course, in my head, I'm yeah. I'm there, but I I need to s- stack all the words like a game of Tetris before I can press play. <laughs> yeah, it's one thing to to be in there in your head, but then to get it out of your mouth and then actually saying what you're thinking. That's yeah. Never, I've never noticed either one of you struggling, to be honest with you. And you know, when you Does that um, say more about us or you? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I know, I know when um, I'm editing the podcast... All right, let's and, move uh, along. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm editing the podcast and uh, you get 
you see Havard's uh, green line at the top just fill out for a minute or two. You think, oh, great. This is going to be an easy minute or two. I'll check Instagram. <laughs> I actually do the same with you, Glad, because I'm more, of course, more conscious about myself. So that I'm just cutting out small silences to make the sentences having a better flow. And then, oh, here's Glenn having a monologue. And you just skip a few minutes. And uh... just, It's like a break, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Of course, I, I enjoy doing the quality control and listening to the episode. But after it's done, I'm not listening to it. So I really don't care. So, meh. I'm happy with it, so I, I've try. I think I've lowered my standards, and I, <laughs> the first episodes I edited, I I really looked at every like small break to see if does that feel too long, does it feel too short, and now I'm just skipping along, and uh, you kind of <laughs> get into the groove. That's not long enough. That's not long enough. All right, and a snip here and a snip there, and of course, if someone is not saying anything in the quality control, it's just upload and be done with it and <laughs> start doing something else yeah yeah I, was, I, I, I cut way way too much in the early early episodes but now it's like like if a pause is over like three seconds that's that's a bit long uh, yeah so i cut yeah. it it's it's mostly trying to uh fix so we don't talk over each other so i mean if two people are are both telling a good joke at the same time, then you want to hear both of the jokes. So then you have to do some fiddling around, if possible. Yeah. And then, of course, you will have some silences from the other participants, so then you can jump back. And then I cut out some of KJ's laugh here, and I put it back in here to make it sound <laughs> like he's laughing to that joke because I split it between two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And try to make me look uh, funnier. I take your laugh and put it here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you then have an your own silence uh, because after yeah. Glenn's la- against Glenn's joke. You, you then... don't. You don't need the applause sign. We should just make a bank of ourselves laughing, so we can just drag and drop. Oh, this was a bit dull, so we put in some more giggles. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't need uh, I don't need your laughter after my jokes. I, I find myself <laughs> quite funny. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but. Talking about editing, that if we are doing, um, I need to have a look at the calendar. But of course, if you if you stretch the knife along for too long, then one of us is going to get the handicap of doing two podcast edits as well. And that week you're doing the edit, it really cuts into your workshop time. So uh, yeah, to not give one true. of us a handicap, uh, we should maybe look into that. Hey, Jay's on it. His calendar's in front of him as we speak. <laughs> oh, my God, it's the naked calendar version. <laughs> oh, my eyes. Uh, you're such why a prude. The, why are all 12 months of yourself? <laughs> yeah, what, what, was the, what was the last, uh, the naked uh, duck calendar or whatever he talked about, and now it's this? I mean, my eyes. <laughs> oh, that's... So great, having a naked calendar of yourself. That's like the weirdest <laughs> thing you could ever do. Oh, oh well, you say weird. Yes, uh, we have. Yes, I, I'm I'm very free thinking, but I mean that's crossing the line even for me. I think. All right, all right. Well, while you're looking at the calendar, I'll tell a story. Uh, a few years ago, we went to New York um, uh, with uh, well, the, the closest family, and we rented a house. Um, in Harlem, and then of course, uh, the guy who lent us the house on Airbnb, he, they were living in the the apartment below, uh, and of course, he, he did show us around. And they were both musicians, so there was a piano in every room, and there was a lot of art there, and it, it was really nice. And then, of course, we came into the master bedroom, and then he showed us uh, a picture which he had a. Uh, semi-famous artists actually paint and it was a huge painting and the handcrafted details and everything was immaculate but it was a self-portrait of him as a pigeon Uh, so it so it so it was a it was a new york pigeon but with his head and it was really good uh executed but i'm I'm still curious to this, like, what's the thought process behind that? And then, of course, putting that 
on the wall behind your bed. <laughs> and of course, it would probably be more interesting talking to his wife. What do you think <laughs> about the process behind this picture? I mean, that that would be for a podcast episode on all on itself. Wow. I, mean, I, lo- I love the idea of painting yourself as a bird, but to have it on my walls at home and have it in my bedroom... Yeah, and That's... also if you if he was a painter, I would kind of get it because you're using your own time. But he had this commission by someone <laughs> living off of painting, and this was an oil painting with all the wheels and bells and whistles. So somebody put in a lot of hours and time here. So it it didn't come cheap, unless it was a favor for something drastically. But uh, yeah, do you think subconsciously? He, he went through a thought process and, um, you know, realized that pigeons like to peck. And then he realized that he's just a giant pecker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we're we're getting somewhere now. Yeah. <laughs> I can't think where else you'd go with this. I mean, it's just, that's just weird. I mean, it's not as weird as uh, the Swedish midsummer celebrations, but it's still no, weird. But that's, that's pretty, pretty out there. So what's what's the dates looking like, KJ? Who gets the double edit? Uh, well, that depends on uh, uh, if we're going uh, with the with the uh, from the day of the recording, or if, if we're cheating for ourselves, that is, or if we're actually starting on uh, after when this uh, this episode is published. Uh, uh, because if we're starting uh, when this episode is published. Then it's uh, it's Howard that gets uh, two edits, and if we're starting <laughs> tomorrow, uh, uh, Glenn also gets two edits. So it's me oh, who okay. gets out scot free. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> so maybe I, we should I can push it a week. It. I, can, well. I can just do uh, two really crappy ones where I just ah, this is good enough and upload. <laughs> 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 so hope for the best. <laughs> so you mean the podcast you would suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Have I got um, episode twenty's edit? This is seventeen. This one, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. not me, at least. Okay. I know that for a fact. I'll be me. My first time editing with a guest, then. Yeah. So uh, hey, my, my first without first guest without me editing. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we should swap. <laughs> <laughs> How much you're paying? Yeah, depends on the guest. <laughs> well, we'll not we'll not reveal that right now. It's a little bit early, I think, isn't it? Yeah, but yeah. there's a there's another guest on the horizon. That's that's a thing we can say. But yeah, uh, going back to the knife along. Okay, maybe we should push it one week uh, more, so it's actually fair between the three of us. And uh, being uh, completely honest, the eleventh of February isn't that great for me because I. Uh, I'm in Gothenburg seeing uh, the musical Wicked that evening, and my oh, birthday def- is uh, is that Monday, so yeah. Yeah, we yeah, should do it. Then, then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> I didn't hear what any of you said, so yeah, great. <laughs> you can do it the week after if you like, KJ. You can be in charge of the knife along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and of course, we're not going to do a, a live reveal, so I mean. When we finish, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because we just uh, cut it in the edit and post at the same time anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, <that's it>. yeah. <laughs> but we, we, let's let's say that we push it to the 18th of February to actually have the uh, the build videos posted that Saturday. Yeah. No, Sunday. May, I mean, Sunday. Yeah, I need to book uh, some time at the foundry. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> need to get that booked, ready. <laughs> The, you uh, got the ore already, or are you going out mining as well? <laughs> I'm going to mine it, yeah, so it'd make a better video. And then I was um, <laughs> going to go to the foundry, and then I was going to visit a Japanese uh, steel sword master. <laughs> <laughs> and carry right, buckets some, of water someone up is and down putting the bars. <laughs> you know, because it's just a friendly thing. I didn't want to make it too competitive. <laughs> too much effort in. <laughs> Then for for the video, you could of course spin uh, the mining segment into something Minecraft related because that is popular with the demographic, the younger demographic. So you might hit yeah. some new uh, subscribers as well. 
Yeah, that would just be something else new for me to learn, though. I don't actually understand what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's a... Frankly, neither I... does that do them, it seems. Right. Uh, <laughs> all that Minecraft videos that people put out, it's just... I mean, it's its kid, kids being scammed, more or less. Half of them, I think. It's its terrible, terrible uh, YouTube content. You watch it? Yeah. Pretending, oh, now I'm playing Minecraft and this happens. But no, it doesn't happen. This is just video editing and you being a <laughs> dumbass and... And trying to sell your goddamn plushies. Stop talking about them every five <laughs> minutes, you piece of crap. Stop trying to pollute my kids. My daughter was watching a video today, and these kids have got some genius ideas. This kid she was watching has got, you know, quite a few million subscribers. And it's his video title was, I wore a sauna suit for 24 hours. And there's a picture of a sweaty kid. <laughs> <laughs> It's oh. like, why are we putting all this effort into making things? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and and the, the maker audience is quite limited, as some some people, some makers find out that, I mean, just <laughs> making stuff, that's, that is a limited audience. You have to be a spectacle. You have to be <laughs> something else to reach. I just, I just replayed that video in my head as if I'd made it and put myself in a sport the suit and the thumbnail of a sweaty middle-aged man. <laughs> doesn't sound very appealing, does it? If you I wear think it that's to an equally narrow would... niche. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be fun if you wore it for an entire day going to work and trying to Can you imagine see that, especially... your climbing ladders and... <laughs> Oh, using a the, chainsaw and that sort of now thing. Now we're just getting into the realms of your fantasies, I think, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold a stick of butter as well for you if you like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, wear some proper balls and chains as well, and yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm all maxed out. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we've covered it all. Yeah. So uh, going back to challenges, not that we're ever talking about challenges, but the knife alongs kind of along that route. How is the hallway coming along? And I'll get to the challenge part in a second. <laughs> well, we still have some uh, sightings around the door uh, left. Yeah. And of course, I'm thinking, well, we're past Christmas. So we're not going to have guests that we know of anytime soon. So, of course, when it's getting a bit warmer outside. We're thinking about swapping that door all together. So, right. Of course, when I uh, in the main opening where there used to be a door, I have now made um, like some uh, f f filler panels, uh, and of course, I I nailed the side panels or side skirts or whatever you call it um, onto that. But I didn't drive the nails all the way in because I thought, okay. Now they are fitted, and I see they, the miters join perfectly and so on, and then I can remove them again when I'm paint, painting the unpainted part. Uh, but of course, uh, spending the Christmas getting the sweaters hooked and everything, I just hammered them home <laughs> yeah, the other night. So now it's going to be a masking job before painting. <laughs> but fuck it. So That's so boring. Miss, Mrs. Glenn has picked up the gauntlet and slapped you around the face with it, Havard, and said <laughs> that she is going to do our hallway, including panelling, before you finished yours, and she hasn't even bought any materials yet. <laughs> I would put my money on her. So it's, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I thought that was uh, where we are done with the knife along and, and somewhere down the line. Um, I think we at some point touched about the topic, what does a maker wife think her husband is actually doing in the workshop? That's a, a reoccurring theme uh, when I talk to other makers. And that, of course, should we have something called the maker wives challenge where we get the wives to give us individual challenges based on what they th think we're actually doing in the workshop? And then, of course... <laughs> You just get a design brief, like, go in your workshop and make dot, dot, dot. And like, all right, that's a challenge. <laughs> I actually thought you meant the make the, the maker's wives were going to make something, not us. 
yeah, that that could be a completely different challenge, which would also yeah. be a very good concept. I think that would be a really good spin on things, actually. Run it, run it round about November time, the same time as everybody else is running their challenges. <laughs> but you you know what's going to happen, right? And it's like, um, <laughs> I think, uh, is it uh, I make stuff or I made something? Uh, there, it's a it's a YouTube channel about an engineer making really fantastic stuff and. Of course, in the beginning, sometimes he had his wife coming in doing some comments. What do you think? And and she really yeah. nails the like the dead stare when she's looking at him and his projects. <laughs> and she's the star of the videos. So now people are just rooting. We need to see more of your wife. She's just as funny in the videos as you are. So I think we would. Some of us would probably realize that, of course, uh, if we did uh, have our wives doing a project, that video would probably be the best one yeah. in yeah. years. Yeah. <laughs> and then having having to live with that, it's uh, yeah. Stuff made here is the channel, and yeah, yeah stuff made here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's really he's a cool engineer, but I mean, she, she she's re a really good uh, sidekick. For yeah. Him. I'll have to check that out. Oh, good. That's a good pause. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at the time as well. It's a, it's a mm -hmm. nice cutoff, basically. We uh, can end with the uh, knife along and then a short, uh, nice episode. And then we can have a extended uh, half pint. Right, should, we, should I do a, an outro then? Number one, crude mistakes out. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> <Toodaloo>. Bye. <laughs>